In today's step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you everything you need to know to get started with the Qcoin crypto exchange. Now let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is to make your own account. Just go over to Qcoin.com and then click on sign up. Now once you're logged in into your Qcoin account, you want to go over to this icon in the top right and then click on the verification. You'll then be sent over to a screen looking similar to this one. And if you would like to deposit or withdraw fiat currencies on Qcoin, you want to click on start verification. You'll then have to fill in your country of residence. For me, this will be the Netherlands. You'll then have to fill in your first name, your last name, and select the identity document type. This can be your ID card, your passport, or your driver license. Then you just want to fill in the information Qcoin asks for and click on submit. And once you've verified yourself, it's really important to set up your security settings. So go over to security settings and then click on the Google verification. I've already made a short but sweet tutorial on how to connect the Qcoin exchange to the Google Authenticator, so if you want to do that, make sure to watch this video in the top right. Now the reason you want to do this is because when you're logging into your account, after you've filled in your password, you'll have to fill in a 6 digit code generated in the Google Authenticator. So the Google Authenticator is just another layer of security to make sure that your cryptocurrencies and your five currencies are safe. You can also do the same with your phone number. However, please be aware that if you do decide to do this, there is something called SIM switching, which basically means that hackers can get your verification code and then by doing so log in into your account. So I personally recommend to not enable this. However, if you would like to, click on SAD, then just fill in the two-factor authentication code in the Google Authenticator if you have that enabled. And you'll then have to fill in the country code. So for me, it's the Netherlands, which is 31, and then your phone number. You can then click on send code and click on activate. Now when you're on the security settings page again and you scroll further down, you'll see the trading password. The trading password is a six digit code you'll have to fill in before being able to trade, so buy or sell any cryptocurrencies on Qcoin. It looks like this and once you've filled that in, you'll see the menu where you can place a market order and a limit order. Now if you would like to enable the email safety phrase or the login safety phrase, just click on set and then you'll have to fill in your email safety phrase. So you want to set it yourself. All of these safety phrases are used to prevent your account from phishing email and phishing websites. And every time you get an email from Qcoin, your safety phrase will be included, which basically prevents you from falling for phishing attempts or phishing websites. So if you want to make sure that your funds are as safe as possible, make sure to fill this in. So I'll blur out my safety phrase, but then you just want to click on submit and you'll then see that your safety phrase has been set. Of course, you can also do it with the login safety phrase or the withdrawal safety phrase, but for me there's no need to. So now that you've set up your security settings, I will show you how to deposit money onto Qcoin. You just want to go over to buy crypto and then click on fast buy. You'll then be sent over to a screen looking similar to this one and on the right you'll see the fast buy menu. Right here you can select the currency you would like to buy, which can be Bitcoin, Ethereum or Tether, which is USDT. You can then select the pay with. This can be any fiat currency, but for me it will be the euro, because I live in Europe. You'll then have to fill in the amount, and you can then simply click on buy USDT. You can also see that the FastBuy supports Visa card and MasterCard, so your credit or debit card. If you don't have either of these, you might want to use the third party. You then once again have to fill in the amount you would like to spend, and in which currency, so for me that's the euro, and you then also have to select the I want to buy. And if you're using the third party, there's a lot of cryptocurrencies available, but I'll just select Bitcoin. Now you will have to select the payment method, so either the Visa or MasterCard, SEPA, which is bank transfers, Apple Pay or Ideal. And the last thing you need to do is to select your payment channel. This can be BTC Direct or Banksa. Now when you scroll down further, you'll see all the information of your buy. And you'll then also have the disclaimer, and you need to check this box, and then you can click on confirm and continue to buy your cryptocurrency with Fiat. Now I haven't verified myself on Qcoin and that's why I always use the deposit crypto option. If you want to deposit crypto onto your Qcoin account, you need to go over to assets and click on main account. You'll then have to click on withdrawal or deposit and in this case it's deposit and you'll then be sent over to this screen. You'll then see please select the coin. So just click on the search bar and search for the cryptocurrency you would like to transfer onto Qcoin. The currency I would like to deposit onto Qcoin is reserve rights. So make sure to select the currency and then you also want to select the account you would like to deposit into. The names are quite self-explanatory, however your main account is the account you can deposit and withdraw from, your trading account is the account you use to buy and sell cryptocurrencies on Qcoin 
and your margin account is the account you can use to future trade so to long or short cryptocurrencies. I would like to deposit my funds into my trading account and then you want to go over to the exchange you would like to withdraw from. If you're on the other exchange you want to search for any withdrawal button. On Binance it's located under the finance spot section and then you just want to click on withdrawal. You'll then have to select the coin and please always make sure to select the same coin on the other exchange as you've got selected on Qcoin. Because if you transfer, let's say Bitcoin, to an Ethereum address, you will lose all the funds you're transferring. So always double check if you actually have the same coin selected. Now in this case, I do. So you can then continue and copy your wallet address. Then you wanna go over to the other exchange and paste it in. You'll then have to select the network, which in this case only Ethereum is available. And you can also see that the wallet address has automatically been matched to the corresponding network. However, if you're not sure which network to use, Please go over to Google and search for which chain supports transferring and then the name of the currency you would like to transfer. Now you can just go ahead and fill in the amount you would like to transfer and of course you can also click on max. You can then go ahead and click on withdrawal and you'll then see the withdrawal confirmation. So you want to double check if all of the information is correct and once you've done that you can click on continue. You'll then have to click on get code and fill in the two factor authentication codes and if you would like to withdraw cryptocurrencies from Qcoin. You want to go over to withdrawal or if you're not on this screen yet, you want to go over to assets and then click on main account. You can then go over to withdrawal and then you want to search for the cryptocurrency you would like to withdraw. Now please be aware that not all cryptocurrencies that are available on Qcoin are available on let's say Binance or any other crypto exchange. And for example, XH3 and Tower both are not available on Binance. So for this example, I'll select my USDT or Tether holdings. Then you can just click on continue. And you'll then see that you need to fill in the wallet address. So to find this wallet address, you want to go over to the other exchange and look for a deposit button. On Binance, it's located under the finance spot section and then you want to click on deposit. You can then go over to select coin and search for the currency you would like to deposit. Please always make sure that you have the same coin selected because if you transfer your cryptocurrency to the address of another coin, you will lose all the funds you're sending. So that's why you always want to double check that. You'll then have to select the network you would like to use and you can see that on Binance there's 5 networks available. Now on Qcoin, when you click on network, you will also see that there's 5 networks available. So you basically want to look for the network that is available on both Qcoin and Binance. Now as you guys can see, the Tron or TRC20 is available on both Binance and on Qcoin. So I'll select TRC20 on both of the exchanges. You can then copy your wallet address and go over to Qcoin and paste in your wallet address right here. You can then go ahead and fill in the amount. Now like I said before, if you want to withdraw funds from your Qcoin account, you will have to have those funds in your main account. If you don't, and as you guys can see right now my main account available is zero, however I do have 176 USDT on my Qcoin account, you want to click on transfer right here, then select the trading account on the left, or if your funds are located on any of the other accounts, make sure to select that account, and then make sure that the main account is on the right. Then you need to select the coin you would like to transfer and you can then just fill in the available amount or of course you can fill in an amount manually. And you can then click on confirm. You then have to wait a little bit and you can then see that your main account available has now gone up to 100 USDT. So now you want to fill in the amount you would like to transfer and as you guys can see there's a fee of 1 USDT which means that I can withdraw 99 USDT. Now the last and final thing you want to do to withdraw crypto from Qcoin is to click on confirm. And because I wanted to show you how to withdraw crypto, I've now got 100 USDT available in my main account, but in my main account I can't use it to trade. So if you want to transfer between your accounts on Qcoin, so let's say for example from your main account to your trading account, you wanna go over to the currency in your main account and then click on transfer. Now go over to direction and select the main account on the left and then the account you would like to withdraw to, so to transfer to on the right. In this case, that's going to be my trading account. Now the coin has already been selected and you can then fill in the available amount. Now you just want to click on confirm and you'll then have to wait for a few moments. And you can then see that when you go over to your trading account, my USDT has been added to my trading account. So that's how to transfer between accounts on Qcoin. And once you've got your funds in your trading account, you most likely want to actually buy cryptocurrencies. So you need to go over to markets and you can then browse between all of the pairs available. The pairs are right here and you're also able to filter the cryptocurrency pairs right here. For example, you've got the stablecoin pairs 
die Bitcoin pairs, and the altcoin pairs. The most well-known altcoin is Ethereum, so you'll see that most of the altcoin pairs are indeed Ethereum pairs. And I myself always like to buy cryptocurrencies using USDT, because it's the easiest way to see your profits. So just go over to Stablecoin, and you can then go over to the search bar and search for any cryptocurrency you would like to buy. For me, I would like to buy Tower slash USDT, so you can then click on the pair, and you'll then be sent over to the trade cryptocurrency website of Qcoin. Now, like I told you before, you've got the trading password on Qcoin. So you need to fill in your trading password, and you'll then see the menu where you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies using a limit order, a market order, and a stop limit order. Now, using a market order, you will buy cryptocurrencies instantly, so for the best available current market price. So if I was to fill in 50 USDT right here, I would buy Bitcoin in this case, which is not right. So I'll go over to the tower pair myself. I've got redirected to the wrong side. I want to select tower slash USDT. And when you then go over to market, you can see that you can buy and sell tower. So if I fill 50 USDT in right here, I will buy 50 USDT worth of tower for the best current available market price. Now the limit order works as followed. You've got the price, so the price you would like to buy for, and the amount. The amount is the amount of tower you would like to buy, and the price is the price below the current market price if you're trying to buy. Now if you set your limit price above the current market price, you'll buy instantly because you are willing to pay more than the current market price. So let's say that I would like to buy tower when the price goes down to 0.04. I'll just fill in 0.04 as the USDT price, and you can then enter the amount of tower you would like to buy. For example, 1000 tower is equal to 40 USDT, and if you would like to place your order, just click on buy tower. Now if you're trying to sell using the limit price, your order needs to be above the current market price, because if you do it below the current market price, you're willing to sell your coins for cheaper than the current market price, so your coins will be sold instantly. So let's say that I would like to sell all of my tower when the price goes up to 0 0.047. I'll go over to the price and fill in 0.047 USDT as the price and you can then enter the amount manually or you can click on 25, 50, 75 or 100% of your holdings. And now when I click on sell tower, I will actually show this to you, a limit order to sell all of my tower on the price of 0.047 USDT has been created. You can see right here the pair, the type of order, if it's a buy or sell order, the price and the amount. Now I don't actually want to sell any of my tower, so I'm going to click on cancel. And you'll then see that my order has been cancelled. Now selling for the market price works the same as buying. You just fill in the amount you would like to sell. In this case it's in tower, if you're buying it's in USDT, for the best market price. So if I want to sell 1000 tower for the best available current market price, just click on sell tower after you've filled in the amount. Of course you can also select any percentages, and that's basically how to buy and sell crypto on Qcoin. Another pretty cool feature on Qcoin is the cryptocurrency trading bots. When you go over to trade and click on trading bot, you'll see that you can actually create Qcoin bots which will trade your cryptocurrency for you. And as you guys can see, there's people out there making 70x their gains per year just by running these cryptocurrency trading bots. You can see that at the moment I've got two bots running which are both really really in the red. However, it doesn't matter to me because both of these bots are for the long term. But when I go over to profits and click on my historical profits, you'll see that I've done quite a few trades for the short term. Now, if you want to learn more about how to set up your own Qcoin trading bot, make sure to watch this full step-by-step -step tutorial I've made on how to do that. It's only 10 minutes and you'll learn every single thing you need to know to make profits using these bots. Now, the next thing I will show you is the funds overview. So you want to go over to assets and click on overview. And you'll then see all of the funds you're holding on your main account, your trading account, or any other accounts. Now if you actually want to see your profit and loss analysis, unfortunately this is not provided by Qcoin. That's why you have to connect your Qcoin account to a portfolio tracker. So if you want to do this, I recommend you go over to this icon in the top right and click on API management. You'll then see the API management screen and you want to click on create API. So you have to give the API a name, for me this will be Qcoin tutorial, and you'll then have to give your API a passphrase. Now once you've given your API a name and a passphrase, you want to scroll down over to the restrictions and select general. So if trade or transfer are selected, make sure to unselect them. You can then also click on no, even though it's not recommended, but that's because I'm not sure if it works if you select yes. So please select no, then click on next, 
and you then have to fill in your trading password, the email verification code, and the two-factor authentication code generated in the Google Authenticator. I already showed you guys how to enable the passphrase, but the result is visible right here. I got the Qcoin verification code, and my safe words are right next to it. And that's pretty cool, because right now I can't get fished anymore, because I know whether or not the email is actually from Qcoin or from a scammer. So this is my verification code, I will just copy it and then paste it in over on Qcoin. Now once you've filled in all of these codes, make sure to click on confirm. You'll then see that the API key has been created, you'll see the API name, the key, the secret. Now please make sure to copy and paste your API key and your secret key, because you need both of these in a few moments. And make sure you get it over on your phone. Now if you're not sure how to do this, you can do this by sending yourself an email, and yes that actually works. And then you can just click on confirm. So once you've got your API key on your phone, you want to go over to the Google Play Store or the App Store and install either the Delta app, Coinstats or Blockfolio. In this tutorial, I'll go with Coinstats. Now if you would like to connect Qcoin to Delta or Blockfolio, make sure to watch the videos I've linked in the pinned comment. However, if you would like to use Coinstats, just open up the app and now simply click on Get Started. You can then connect any other exchange and search for Qcoin. Now select it and you can then click on Paste with the key and you'll then have to paste in your secret key as well. Now also be sure to fill in your passphrase, and once you've done that, just click on submit. And that's how to connect Qcoin to a portfolio tracker. And if you want to learn how to optimize profits and how to minimize losses, make sure to watch this video I've made on the Qcoin trading bot. If there's still anything you have a couple of questions about, feel free to ask me in the comments down below so I can help you out.